Um, and cure they done made it. You can't make a virus that fast, a cure to a virus that fast. That was too fast. They already had it made. They already had it made. So check the patent on that uh this new virus vaccine. Check the patent on it. You know, I hear the numbers is six six six. <coughs> but in numerology, six 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 means something else for good. But if you guys can't see that it is a biological war, mainly on the poor. Mainly of uh, uh, mainly on that bottom percent that's not even helping the stock market. So it's just going to kill us off because we're worthless. We're deplorable. From what I hear. So, guys, we are at war. I, I, I mean, I, I suggest you to get in and, you know, get off the blindness. Stop turning a blind eye. And start thinking for yourself. And, and, and bag back up out the bubble. Take a look on the on the outside and see what what you see, because it's a win win for them. You you be a slave by going to work every day and they taking your money through taxes. That's legal extortion. Instead, they can raise them up on you. Ain't nothing you can really do about it. Ain't nothing you can do if they keep raising the taxes. You just gonna have to pay. It. So with that being said, that's a form of dictatorship. You know, so it's a mobocracy going on here for real. I mean, you got to see what it is. You know, it's a corporation. The government is a corporation. It's a business. You know, it's all about gold, oil, and diamonds. You know, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Yeah. And if y'all can't see that laws revolve around them for a win-win. That's why you don't see so many white men get in trouble when they steal money and bail them in and all that. You know, it's a reason for everything. I wish these people would start seeing life for what it really is. Slavery is still here. And is you gonna go slave for them by going to work every day and they take money from you? Or you can just get so down and out where you have to go commit a crime and they lock you up. So slavery shall not exist unless punishable by a crime. Involuntary servitude. So that's your 13th Amendment. But see, no slave slaves didn't know nothing about no amendments. When they wasn't even know, didn't know how to read. So that's how they tricked them. How they worded this 13th Amendment. Which is a bunch of bullshit. Because they seeking out the, the descendants of the slaves. Seeing if they free. They seeking out African Americans. The descendants of the slaves to put them back in slavery. Because if you don't want to work, then we know what else you're going to do. You're going to commit crime. So we'll have you one way or the other. This is what they see and what they say. So, and don't get caught with no gun. They're going to shoot you first and ask questions later. So I will be careful with that one too. Because you're really not free, okay? If they did a roundup right now, if they rounded up all the African Americans in low income housing, ain't nothing they can do. What can they do? They can't do nothing. Killed, get killed. If they went to all the housing projects right now, in your local area and round up all them people and lock them up, ain't nothing they could do. 
Now you tell me if that's not a form of dictatorship. You tell me they free. You can't. They had coffins ready for the people that's going to die already before the pandemic even showed up. And all these billionaires that want to experiment just because they got money, you don't have no right to dictate to say what population is supposed to stay alive or live or not. You are evil son of a bitch. So you don't even have some of the, some of those thoughts in your mind to want to kill is wrong. So you don't got or you will have your day. Every dog has his day. So whatever you put out there, we'll come back to you. I guess you know that already, huh? But you don't give a damn, do you? That's the works. That's the works of the devil. Evil has beset you. You have been transformed into a total being. But you have no power. I denounce your power right now. Whatever power you think you possess. But people, if you don't wake up now and see that it's a lose-lose for you. But you can do something about it. Is you going to let one man, a billionaire, decide how long your grandkids or kids, kids, it's, 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 it's sad. But I got to give it to you. I got to give you the truth. It is a chemical weapon. Yeah, it's part of a plan. Donald Trump revised the damn uh, King Alpha plan in 2017. And do your research. See what the King Alpha plan is if you don't know what that is. It's real out here in these streets, man. This ain't no for play type shit. This is some real authentic shit. This ain't no fucking fake news. This real shit. This from the outside looking in. Straight facts, Jack. You people better wake up and get out of your bubbles. Stop being thrown off by the newest gadget. They got you right where they want you. Yo, they plan going so well. Population control you through four different avenues. Yeah. Politics, religion. Oh man, they got man, they man, they boy, they got a plan together, boy. And then hey, boy, they about to pull it off. They pulled off the rap plan. They had all these people rap about violence and guns and selling dope and killing each other. Guess what happened? People went out there and started doing it. Guess what? They went to slavery. Slavery should not exist unless punishable by a crime. So they, they done went down through the signs on how to get you, through the music. They hype you up, get you pumping. Yeah, they want, yeah, now, you're, now your mind is full of all this uh, evil shit. You want to go do this, you want to ball, you want to do this. But what it takes to get that in your reality? Rob, kill, or steal. As soon as you get caught, back to slavery. Simple as that. See, so they didn't really take away slavery. They just got them through the world. The slave didn't know nothing about no amendments. Hell, they didn't even supposed to know how to read or didn't know how to read. What the hell is free to them? That's how the people don't know right now that they free, but they ain't because of the wording. So now they hunt you down because they know you're black. They know that you're going to have a white judge. They know you're going to have a white district attorney. And nine times out of ten, it's going to be uh, 
or 80 percent of white people on the jury you tell me where you think there's a win in that huh how many African Americans in, in the in the United States population in prison? It's a business, corporation, money, housing, housing humans is what the government is doing. But to give this man permission to kill a third of the population is insane. They've been sold us out, been sold us off. Send all your taxpayer dollars to foreign countries. Look how long it took them to get y'all some money. And you've been paying taxes for 40 and 50 and 60 years, and it take them some of bitches. Oh my God. All this time, or then they steady up in there arguing about this and that, about how much money they go, they send more money overseas than they done ever given you. Now you tell me this. Why the hell are they still sending aid overseas when you got your own pandemic problems going on over here? Where do that make sense at to American taxpayer? You tell me where that makes sense to an American taxpayer that you sending all the taxpayer dollars over to foreign relations. For what? It was enough money to give each American a million dollars about how much they done sent over there. Obama sent a lot of money over there too. For what? Cause that money ain't for you. It ain't for you. Cause America didn't send it. Yeah, America done sent their money somewhere else. You be frank about that. Yeah, that was somebody else's money. We did the stimulus package you getting. Cause all of a sudden, there's no budget. There's no deficit right now. Really? All of a sudden, all this complaining they did about the deficit, about the budget, ain't nobody saying shit about the deficit, about the budget. Shit! You ain't heard shit about the deficit. But I tell you what, go back two years ago and that's all you heard about. Go back three years ago, that's all you heard about. Now all of a sudden there is no budget, there is no deficit. We got an open checkbook now. Where this money come from? So y'all been hiding money from us. Don't want to boost up the earned income cash credit. Don't want to boost up minimum wage. Where is we the people agree with any of that shit? We the people, huh? They wasn't talking about us. They wasn't talking about the ones that's... <laughs> Says me, man, to see that they would actually do this to a human being. Just don't make no sense. But nobody doing nothing about it. Everybody sitting around playing patty cake while you at war. Every day you walk out your damn house. Yeah. But you know, hey, all I can do is tell you, I can't keep, don't, don't kill the messenger. All I can tell you is, and tell you, and show you what I see and what I know. So to you to be able to accept what you want. You don't, you need to accept it or you take it, take some and leave the rest, but uh, you are under attack. Yes, you are. You, your family, everybody, y'all, you are under attack. By the same one you think that's helping you is the same one that's hurting you. The same one you say that's helping you is the same one that's hurting you. This is a message coming out. Straight from the heart, man. And see it for what it really is. The 13th Amendment is not really the 13th Amendment. You free? Yeah, but you ain't free. You don't have rights. just another slave in the 21st century. That's it. Because you know damn well if a bunch of black men would have ran up in that white house like they did, they'll be still separating the dead. 
But you tell me why that black man that was in there running, running from him, why he didn't shoot nobody? Why he didn't kill nobody? What happened? They is invading the damn White House. Really? They invaded the White House and nobody in there was killed. As far as I know, they say five guys. I mean, I'm inside. I didn't get to see all the details. But five? And mainly one of them was officers, I think. Wow. Boy, they got these people brainwashed for real. A lot of people don't see that they use brainwashing mechanisms through the TV on you. And all they got to do is plant something in your mind. There you go. You go buy it. That's why they send you all these damn commercials. Oh, let me go stop by here. You done already put it in your brain. By the TV commercial. So next time you know, hey, you want to go stop by Mickey D's. You didn't know that they was killing kids from Africa and feeding them to you. Because you're worthless. Boy, that's cold. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 99 cents. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's a crazy place we live in.